Hello friends. Due to popular demand, I'm re-releasing this video with audio commentary, and there will be some music by my good friend coming up muddy. So what I'm doing now is preparing the ground for the new shipping container. I've got a six foot tiller on there and I'm chopping up that dry earth, scraping it away. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put down some base so that I can level it out to put the new container on. In Texas, we call this road base. So it's a sandy clay mix with some rock in it. And this will help provide some drainage underneath the container when the new one goes on. I've got the box blade on the tractor and I'm just smoothing it out and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to level it. Here's the container when it was delivered. So I got my tractor, chain, and I'm just going to move it with a three-point hitch. So I pick it up a little bit and I drag it. It's a 50 horsepower Kubota with four-wheel drive. It's pretty dry. I got a little stuck in some sand so I'm picking it up and I'm moving it and then we're going to come over to where the building is and we're going to move it into place so to speak get it set up this container on the left is the new one uh, i paid about three thousand two hundred dollars for it the one on the right that's my 40 footer i bought that a couple of years ago and it cost about the same uh, so what i'm doing now is i got the plasma cutter hooked up i cut a hole in the old container so i could move my airline through and then I just use the plasma to cut the wall from the new container. There's a little bit of smoke because there's a fire inside. Uh, it wasn't that big a deal. Just burning some of the paint. I've used the plasma cutter instead of using the cutoff wheels because the cutoff wheels will break a lot and they burn them up. And what I'm doing is I'm just showing you inside the container where I'm doing my cutting. I'm talking about the floor. So the floor in this container is level with the side on the outside edge. And so that's the one I wanted because it'll match up with the white container floor to floor. There won't be a very big gap or anything. Some of those containers, there's, there's a drop down on the floor. If you look at the video where I'm putting in some flooring, that container had like a two inch drop between the edge there and then down to where the floor started. So to make it level, I had to add some plywood. What I'm telling you now is I'm gonna cut along that seam, and then I'm gonna cut along the top. But you gotta, gotta be careful. Uh, don't cut it all the way or it could drop on you. So I'm gonna make some slight cuts on the side and then I'll be moving up to the top. So my buddy's inside and he's going to start banging the bottom and top of the container to, with a sledgehammer to separate out the panels while I'm cutting up the rest. Now it's still welded so it's not going to fall on me. i got a couple more cuts to make and then comes the part where you got to be careful and get out of the way. So I'm cutting some holes in there. That's for the chain so we can drag that wall out of the way with the tractor. And then I like to drop it on the outside so you can just kind of go over there and push it and it falls. Now we're going to hook the tractor up and drag it out of the way so we can do some more work. So I'm showing you the tabs are still there. And then there's a little bit of ridge from the cutting that's going to have to be ground down on the floor side. This piece is thicker than the rest, so I didn't want to cut into that. I mean, you could if you want to. Uh, there's a look up top. There's a ridge there that's left over along with the tabs. 
I'm not concerned about grinding that flat, I'm not tall enough to bump my head. And so now what we're going to do is go over and have to cut the other wall out. And then we'll be able to move them around. So I'm just kind of getting prepared to see if it's the same height on the floor. It's a little high, so I'm going to have to level it down a little bit to get the floors to match up the same way I want them. And I'm going to attempt to drag it back and forth and see if that does the job. But it turns out it's not. I'm going to have to use the box blade. On this container addition, I'm not going to line them up on the ends. I'm going to offset a little bit. So I want the flat portions of the each side to meet up. That way I can fill in the gap with some foam so that there's no leaks. And then, you know, like I said, the floor is not lining up with the same height, so I'm going to have to level it. Here we are inside the 40 footer. We're going to cut this wall out and get ready to mate them up. Somebody asked how long it took. I have no idea, so I'm writing the time on the wall. Turns out it takes about an hour and 15 minutes to cut this 20 foot section out with the plasma cutter. And you know, there's some goofing around time in there. So we're up top welding the two seams together. Uh, just get a C clamp and pull them tight together, and then you can just start welding it together. I like to run the full seam. I'm using the MIG welder with the flux core wire because it's pretty windy up there. And I do the full seam because there's less likelihood of dripping. I'm having some problems because my gap's too wide, so I'm doing this thing where I use a stick and use that for filler along with the filler wire while I'm running that bead. And as it happens, I ran out of wire. So I've got to switch to some stick welding. I'm not a very good stick welder, but here we go.
Don't you go down Cutting man's bridge Don't you go down Cutting man's bridge Don't you go down to cutting man's bridge Lots of folks tried and some of them died Don't you go down to cutting man's bridge Pray to the Lord, pray to the sun. Nothing gonna save you when the cutting man comes. Lock up your daughters, hold on to your wife. Nothing gonna spare you from the cutting man's knife. Don't you go down the cutting man's bridge Don't you go down the cutting man's bridge Don't you go down the cutting man's bridge Like folks tried and some of them died So Walden the Floor is just like the same as Walden the Top, only you're not on top. So I got everything welded together like I like it. And then we're going to fill in the gap between the two container panels with some foam sealant. Total time worked on this project to bring the two of them together it was about five days. Got to level the ground, got to cut the walls out. Got to push them together and then weld them together. And then they're pretty much sealed. So big thanks to my buddy Todd from Coming Up Muddy for letting me use his music on this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Coming Up Muddy is available on iTunes and Spotify. So y'all go check him out. He plays some good blues music. There's 17 other videos related to this in the series. So y'all can go check those out. I have details down in the details section, so just look down underneath this video and you'll be able to see what we're talking about. Thanks for watching. Y'all hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.